tried to show my family some videos I was proud of, and I found out the break video wasn't working. So I'm just going to try this again for the sixth time and hope it works. Normally, I try to stay positive no matter what happens, but technology drives me up the wall. What's up, tubes? I'm Gravy Fries. Um, you're probably wondering about the videos. Um, to put all of the situations short, I wanted to post a bunch of videos I had uh, pre-recorded up really like just a big stack of them for the anniversary but it did not go well at all um, part of it was my fault and I'm saying that up front I'm gonna try to be more cautious when I uh, post the videos now but another part of it was mainly my uh, my editor that I was using power director was not working um, my uh, brother was busy and the thing is sometimes he just can't do it and he has his own you know life going on so I got an editor myself and well when you get an editor on your phone it's not gonna be perfect <laughs> um, going off the main specific problems with each of the videos the first ninja one the latest one that got taken down I thought it would play all the clips um, I'm gonna put that back up that one actually will probably be up the fastest uh, the Brett's destiny um, that's actually what this video is uh, I'm gonna re-record the whole thing because the entire thing got trashed. Uh, secondly, the video that's up now that was the that's actually one of the ones that was taken down before for copyright, and yeah, copyright. So the hopes for season three will also be back up, but it's going to take some time. As I want to work a little harder. I actually am kind of glad that one got taken down because I wanted it to be special. And to be honest, I kind of cheaped out on it. So I'm gonna wait a little while, spruce it up a bit, and then I'll repost that one, like a better version that with all the copyright stuff out of it. Um, to explain the copyright claims, uh, the first episode of What If and the Hopes for Season 3 were taken down because I was using clips from the series, but not just clips, I was using whole episodes. And it was actually taken down by Disney Enterprises. And yeah, I know a lot of people see that as a bad thing. I see it as a bad thing too, but um, my family has pointed out that if Disney is actually taking the episode, like videos down of Randy then that probably means they're doing something with it. So, because but before they didn't care what I was doing. Because you know, you guys have seen how much I post about Randy, whether it be pictures or videos. So, they clearly care now. Because why else would they take the two videos down? So, to me, it's a sign that something's going on over there with Randy Cunningham. Because otherwise they wouldn't have cared and would have just let my videos go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to change the videos drastically with the footage that's being shown, uh, as you can tell in the what if episode that's up right now. But I also have some other stuff planned, but let's get to what you actually want to hear. I love Brett, <laughs> as you know from the original. Uh, basically, my theory is that I believe Brett had something planned, some kind of destiny or some kind of thing he's meant to do to help the ninja in some way. Like, for example, he could be the destined blacksmith to take Swordsmith's place and start making the weapons for the ninja and make a weapon that could actually help him defeat these other nine chapter villains. Or he could be like a key to the other eight realms. Um... My theory is that, honestly, I think he'll make some kind of weapon that's important for Randy so he can defeat some really big bad that's like the very last bad of the series. Or at least one of them. Um, but I realize he really could be, like, the key to all kinds of stuff with how crazy the Randy Cunningham universe is. I mean, for all we know, he, he could have some kind of tie to the Norseville Nine. I know that's pushing it, but with how weird this show is, and I mean, nobody expected the Shadow Warrior to have a Norseville 9 symbol on his temple. It's really, you can really expect a lot of stuff like that at this point. And I realize this video is shorter than the other one, but to be honest, I was kind of rambling in the last one. Uh, I'll explain a little more, but essentially the idea I had in my head was basically one of the chapter villains would be very bad, and there'd be a certain weakness they'd have. And then you'd notice, like, uh, the Swordsmith is being harder on Brent over and over and over again. Like, you notice that in Sword Quest when he's first shown, when he's trying to make him do the corn holders and stuff. There's some reason he's telling him to do that. And eventually you get to a point where, like, you realize he's doing this to get him ready. He ends up making the weapon Randy needs. Randy takes this weapon and it manages to defeat that villain, which would be his destiny. And plus, I mean, that'd be a pretty good uh, blacksmith destiny. You created a weapon that helped the ninja defeat a bad guy. That That's a pretty big destiny, if I do say so myself. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. I'm sorry about all this trouble. I'm, I'm just now getting my footing on YouTube, but it's honestly kind of fun. 
Because I already really, really love to talk, and I do enjoy talking about my ideas and theories for shows. So really, this is just fun for me. It's very therapeutic, because I just, I love doing this. It makes me feel better after a hard day and stuff. But um, I hope you enjoyed this version of the video, and I hope that I can do a good, better version of Hopes of Season 3 that won't get taken down. And honestly, yeah, I really truly believe the copyright claims mean something's going on. Like, I agree with my family. I truly think they're right. Uh, see you, Subes, later.